Hey and welcome to Tech Tips with Solot Media. I'm Linus. I'm Jacob. And uh, today we have a cool little episode. We got a new episode with another Yolo box. Uh, mm -hmm. in, yeah, another Yolo box. It's a new Yolo box. Yeah. Called the Ultra. The Ultra. Very cool. Uh, just to do a little comparison, this is the Pro. Yeah, because all I see is just this the is same in stream. Shape. They look pretty much the same. <laughs> Size wise, they're roughly the same. Yeah. But this one has both of them together. So this is a vertical streamer. Oh wow. And this is a, a horizontal one. But nice. in this one you can choose. This is also 4K. It has uh, four HDMIs, which is quite special. And it has ISO recording. So uh, to get this Ooh. episode started, I think I should actually start the ISO recording to make there. sure I have all the cameras. All right. All right. So uh, the limitation is at the moment, one of them can be in, uh, HD in 4K, but in 1080p. You can do all of them oh, wow. as well. Sick. So when I press record here, it's going to tell me what I'm currently recording in. So you can set the, the frame rate and the bit rate and the encoding format. So H.264 or H.265. So the H.265 has a smaller compression if you want to have smaller files as well. Uh, you can set your recording limit to be uh, 10 minutes, one giant file and uh, so on. And that's just basically to make sure that you don't crash all of your media if it happens. Very cool. The less convenient part is to have more files to edit. So it's a, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a give and take there. That's a rough problem. Cool. Here we now go. We're recording ISO. Um, I would recommend if you don't want to have all of the cameras always. So say if you did a church service, mm -hmm. I would set the wide shot as an extra ISO. Mm -hmm. Just in yeah, case right. uh, if you have a close up, somebody walks out of frame. You can always cut to the wide shot with everything. Mm. So just an editing Genius. tips. <laughs> if you don't want everything, at least have the wide shot. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, one of the new features. Oh. They've okay. added NDI to it as well. Oh yeah. Which is a powerful tool, which is a network a inputs. Network SDI. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have um, um, what do you say? Oh, remote cameras or a laptop or a phone that has the functionality in it. This is something you have to buy a subscription of or pay, pay an extra fee for. Okay. But if you push add video, they have now added NDI and SRT, which is two different uh, wireless coding systems. To set up the NDI, you have to be on the same network. So you can see here that my phone and my Yolo box is on the same network. So I'm gonna go back here and go into monitor mode and add video source and pick NDI. And as soon as I start my phone, it should pop up. So I'm going to go into the phone now, into the NDI app here and activate the camera. And there it is. There's Jacob's iPhone right there. And that's pretty cool. See, now I can use my phone as a camera. Pretty cool. Uh, here's the audio. Here's the audio. The mixer. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't look like it changed any. Uh, they've added one thing though. Uh, before you could only choose to have USB audio or HDMI audio. Now you can have both. Now you can have both. When you plug it in, it'll come smart. up as USB uh, microphone. Very smart. And you'll still have your audio follows video, which is a very great feature when you have clips and things. You switch yeah. and then it'll switch with it. Yeah. Very nice and automated. And the Ultra and the InStream, you didn't have this button, okay. which is separate recording uh, settings. Nice. So before you had to set a setting for streaming and recording. Yeah. So if you had bad internet, you would have bad recording. But now you can set it to high record rates, like 4K recording, but just stream 720 oh. and like 100 kilobits. That's crazy. Which is very nice. So if I go in here to settings, That's so smart. it's streaming, streaming coding settings. So here is your separate settings for the actual stream. Hmm. So you want to do constant bit rate at 3000 kilobits and what frame rate specifically for your stream. Now they're separate, which is a great, great thing. So smart. Yes. It's a lot of machine power. Yeah, but we upgraded the, the uh, what do you call it? Chip. The chip. Mm. So it's a much stronger chip now because it is 4K and it is doing yeah. everything. So yeah. now it has room to play. Genius. All right. Is there anything else that is a big difference in the new Ultra? The biggest difference is more inputs, bigger battery. It can last for six hours now on battery. Uh, oh. Okay. 4K ISO recording. And it is now vertical and horizontal those are the like big big things but now it also has enough machine power to be upgraded to add more things after so it has plenty of room to grow 
Nice. So, so yeah, we're going to have to be uh, adding some videos to this after because it's too much for one video. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to stand here rambling all day otherwise. Yeah, but the, the most, most of the functions are the same as the old ones, but stronger. Yeah, and combined. Yes. So if you want to see how they work specifically, we have other videos on our channel, but we're going to make some specific ones for this one as well. Very cool. All right. All right I, so. I think that's it for now. Otherwise, we're going to stand here all day. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see you guys in the next one. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, well, if you have any questions or any specific things you want from the Olobox Ultra, just don't hesitate to comment below and we'll make videos after, uh, well, your requests. Anyways, until the next one, guys. See ya. See ya.